Things are continuing to get worse and worse with the housing market. We have prices declining in certain areas. I know, I know. Some of you guys are like, Orlando, in my area, it's not happening. You have to give it time. Patience, guys. <laughs> Patience is key. You have to really focus on your area and not focus so much on what's happening in other areas. I'm telling you, places like Florida or San Diego or Austin, they have their own ecosystems when it comes to the housing market. So please focus on your local area. But housing prices are continuing to go down. And a lot of you are asking me, Orlando, how much will they go down? Well, in this video, we are going to explain what's exactly going to happen in the next coming months. House price decline accelerates. American home prices fell by 2.4% in the last two months from June to August. On the other hand, they're still up 4 4.8% in the last six months, 13.1% over the past year, and 4.2% since the pandemic hit. Guys, you have to really focus on exactly what's been happening this year. We just started going on this price decline and we have to let it play out. A lot of you guys are chomping at the bit trying to get a home and I get it. Everybody wants to get in on cheaper real estate, affordable real estate, but to do that, we have to wait it out. I did my waiting. 12 years of it! And certain areas are now coming down. And how far will they go? Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody knows. I can't even tell you. But what I can tell you is the best way to understand exactly what's going to happen in your market is keeping a close eye on everything that's going on with your market. If you look at houses that are on Zillow or Redfin, you will see price declines happening everywhere. Then you know, okay, it's going in the right direction. And keeping up on these type of videos to update you what's going on nationally. Because national things, guys, do affect things that are going to happen regional to your city. If the holiday season turns out to be a bust and not as you know profitable as it was the year before, it kind of lets you know exactly where our economy is going. The recession that we're currently in, multiple things like that. The savings that people will have at the beginning of the year, student loans getting turned back on in the beginning of the year. Those things will tell you exactly where the housing market is coming because they have a direct effect on what's going to happen in the housing market. Keeping up on items like those will let you know. And then it says here why it matters. Prices could fall a lot further yet. The irony of the current housing market is that even as the price of housing is starting to decline, the cost of housing is still hitting new highs. Now, what does that mean? That means that prices are still going up. Hence, <laughs> hence the reason why I say sit on the sideline, guys. Do not allow that you seeing that these price cuts trick you into believing that it right now is the time to get into a home. No. This is not the time. No, 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 no. The time it right now is to sit and look at your market, continue to save money with a purpose of buying your home sometime next year if prices continue to drop. That is the purpose. But now is not the time to see a measly $5,000 price cut and think to yourself, you know what? I need to jump in the market right now. This is the time to get in right now. No, no, it's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much a lose-lose situation. Do not do that. This is not the time. You are getting tricked into believing that any little tiny price cut that you see right now is the time to jump in. It is not. And why is that? These homes are still overpriced. Then it says by the number, someone buying a medium price home in September rather than June would pay 5.1% less for their house, 427,000 rather than 450,000, but assuming a 20% down payment and 30 year fixed mortgage. How many people are coming up with 20%? Not many, not many. Would face monthly mortgage payments almost 10% higher at 2,260 per month. Unaffordable, that's what that means, unaffordable. Don't do it, you'll regret it, man. Trust me. If you can't control the interest rate, what can you control? Let's do a test here. <laughs> the one thing you can control 
is the price, how much you pay for the home. If that's underneath your control, then that's what we need to do. We need to make sure that you get into a home that is affordable rather than buying an overpriced home at a high interest rate with home and mortgage costs that are gonna be double and triple that they were just six months to a year ago. And I get this question all the time in my DMs and saying, Orlando, will prices drop by 50, 60, 70%? And I go, uh, I think that's a little high. I don't think we're gonna get that high, guys. <laughs> what I think is, is we don't want to get that high. That would be a depression. <laughs> we don't want that, guys. I don't care what anybody says. Nobody wants a depression. So what are the more likely ter terms that we're looking at? You know, a 20% drop would be in your favor. That would be a good point for you to be like, hmm, okay. This is doable. And so what are some of these economists saying? Inflation could fall back to the Fed's 2% target quicker than the market expects as housing prices are primed for a 20% decline, an economist says. Home prices could crash 20% as housing supply begins to rise, but as a silver lining of such a steep decline in home prices is that inflation would fall quicker than expected. Well, isn't that what the Fed is asking? Is the Fed asking to get inflation down to 2%? Yes. Yes, they are. They want to do that more than anything. And I've showed you videos, guys, where the Fed has said themselves that the housing market is just collateral damage. They do not care what happens to the housing market. There will be pain in the housing market and they can't help it. Yes, will prices drop? Who cares? That's what the Fed says. We will do anything to get inflation down to 2%. So is this something that we will see the 20% decline? Yes, I think there's a very high possibility that this can happen, guys. We can't guarantee it because I don't have a crystal ball. <laughs> but this is just my educated opinion that we will get to that 20% range. I hope, I hope, we will see. But this is the reason why it's so important for you to look at your local areas. Some areas have maybe hit that 10% decline already. Some may have hit 5% decline. You have to look at your area. But the biggest thing that I have to I have to mention guys, will the Fed continue to do rate increases that will get us to a 20% drop? Yes, I believe they will, but they won't do it as fast as we think they will. <laughs> they will do it at a super slow pace. You're too slow. We have the Fed right now. I've been hoping and asking that they do a rate increase at you know, one at 100 basis point at 1% and they're still Bamian at 0.75%. And I believe they will continue to do that and do pinches of rate increases, increases. And at this rate, we won't see a 20% drop until third quarter of next year. <laughs> that is the way that it's looking, right? Well, we can only hope that they will be more aggressive when they see the numbers come back from inflation, showing that inflation numbers are going down. But here's the stickler, guys. We can go from eight to five, but that five to three or two is going to be so hard. Getting down from the eight to five or six or something like that, that's gonna be, that's probably gonna be easy. But getting inflation, that last portion of it, to get it to two, it's going to be tough. It's a lot of work. And that's what the Fed is going to be fighting, guys. A swift fall in a shelter CPI could help get inflation down to 2% far quicker than many in the market expect. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that, but, but, I cannot see the Fed just deciding to go put the pedal to the metal and just drive it in. I can't see this Fed doing this. This Fed is, is taking an approach of, let's do a little bit, see the result. A little bit more, see the result. I know. And that's what they're going to continue to do because he is afraid the Fed is afraid that if they take too big of a bite, they will drive us into a recession, recession, and recession. But here's the secret. We're already in a recession. <laughs> And we're already in a recession. They can't stop that. So you might as well do what you have to do to get rid of this inflation. It is making everything cost more, guys. At the end of the day, what should you be doing? You should be sitting on the sidelines, 
watching Zillow, Redfin, wherever you go to look at houses and keeping track on the houses in your neighborhood, where you want to buy, those regions, and then also saving money, right? Do it sitting on the sidelines with a purpose, deciding and looking and watching my videos and going, I think this is the time to buy right now. Or, no, 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 I'm not buying right now. There's no way I'm buying. Whatever you have to do that's best for you and your family, make sure you go ahead and do that, guys. But just to make sure, guys, you will not get all the information you need about the housing market by just watching this video. You need to watch this next video here. I promise, I promise. If you watch this video, it will give you more insight into the housing market. I will see you on the next one. Thanks.